Right, this is very exciting. This is Horner Water. And uh, this is the, a big junction point. A little footbridge across the river here. Um, it'll probably tell me about this in a minute when I read up. So it's really beautiful. I'm on this side of the bank at the moment. I've taken photos before I started doing the video. Horner Water this is called. Don't know if it's a river axe. Not axe, X. Could be, couldn't it? Or a tributary of it. I will find out and when I do the video I'll put a caption. Because it, it's probably in here in the book. I'll mention it in a minute probably when I read up again. Right, so yes, there's a junction. I've just come down from up there, from Porlock. Then you've got something called Pool Bridge, which will be on the map. Horner, which is a possibility I might go that way, who knows yet. Um, Bridal way to Lee Hill that way, which is where I've come down. Bridal way to Stook Piro. There we go. It's supposed to be the highest church in Somerset, so I don't know what, what climb I've got to do now, but I've just gone down somewhere. It looks like I'm going to have to climb up again. Something magical about water, isn't there? The babbling brook. I wonder if, uh, I bet they did. I bet Wordsworth and Coleridge have been here. I bet they have. There's probably an old bridge from the past. That looks pretty old, that carved stone there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, everyone? It's taken, I'm 67. This is taking me all my life to come out here and do this and it's, I'd have to wait to retirement. I'm capturing this magical moment everyone because I don't know when I'll be able to come out again. I don't know if I'll have my camper van next year, you know it worries me really but there's nothing wrong with the van, she's sturdy as a tank. the footbridge, another little sign. Another little sign, there's the blue sign. Yeah, I'm going to remember this in 10 years time, see? At least I've been here, I got here. I mean, I'll be, in 10 years time, I'll be pushing 80. I'll be, well, I'll be 77. They want people to work to their 70 now. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's terrible really. Rich people don't have to. They get other people to do the work. You're always going to get one who's a workaholic and who's greedy. Don't mean, really mean need to get that extra dollar. But greed. And to keep the rabble at bay like us. Keep us down, trod on. Right, anyway, Sheila, that's enough of that. We're out in the countryside. I have to I have to check myself, you know. No negativity, I think one of my daughters, Georgia, said. No negativity, Mum. Bless her. She loves this. She loves being in the country, my George. Sarah's never been a keen walker. She likes all this though, but she you know, she wouldn't want to do much. She's never reading. Really I don't know why exactly, but uh, it looks like I've got to make a climb up now, everyone. So I'll be turning the video off.
to climb up the other side of the coombe. And down there it says horse crossing. For obvious reasons, you, a horse can't cross the bridge. Okay, it makes common sense, doesn't it? <laughs> right, so I'm up, upwards and onwards, everyone. I'm going to read, have a little read now and find out a bit more about that river and where we, where we go next. I think it's all nearly all the way straight forward now. Over and out. Right, very small video. The battery is going to go any minute. I haven't been on for a good 20 minutes because oh, I've had to climb up this path zigzagging around real deep down there. I've got to climb as high as those hills and over the other side of the valley. It's really, really steep. And I've been walking very slow, trying to catch my breath. But I thought I'd just come on, point out a few features that there is, uh, after leaving the water, Horner Water, heading for Stoke Piro, or Piro, whatever you call it. Lots of spider traps, by the way, on the way up. I've had to be careful of. They go across the path and try and get you. I don't know if they're ticks or spiders. I'm not sure. But they lay a web. And you don't, sometimes you don't see them until the sun glistens on them. So I've been using my piece of paper. So I haven't got my stick because it's too much to carry today. I've been going like this as I've been in front of me as I've gone along to catch the web. See so here... Too big a gap, but not necessarily. But if you do that, and there, they're trying to get you. It's a trick. Apparently this is the highest church in Somerset. I think it's Somerset, or it could be England, I'm not sure. I expect there's one higher in Scotland. That lovely view though everyone. But I'm quite breathless. I've come up a hell of a long way actually. I've been from right down over there, coming along, zigzagging along, and still going up everyone. Still going up. The weather's turned out really good. Imagine all those people thought, oh it's gonna be a crap day, we'll go home. Or you know. When I the day before I left to come over, I looked at the forecast for this day. There was not supposed to be any rain. There might be a bit of drizzle and mist on the hill, which there was. But this day was supposed to be the start of sunshine and a bit of summer. And look at it. That's what it's turning out to be. If I get to that church in the sunshine... That would be great. I'll have to uh, top up the battery very soon. I thought I'd pop on very quickly and briefly, just so people think, oh, where's she gone? And she's suddenly at the church. No, this is quite a climb, okay? And with a heavy rucksack full of water and food and bags and umbrellas and coats. Believe me, it's heavy. I feel quite breathless. I feel like I could do it half an hour or ten minutes. Just to rest. But you can't put your bag down. Either ticks or ants will get it. That's why I rarely rest. I rarely stop. I stopped earlier to just open the gate. And there were thousands of big ants crawling everywhere. Yeah, this is a feat. I'm open on the way back and it can all be downhill. That's what I'm open. I'll study them up a bit. I might have to come back down this way, by the way. Unless I go towards Dunkery Beacon and find a track from over there. I'm, I, it's very humid, very damp in the wood. I'm, I'm sweating buckets. But it's, uh, I feel like we're getting up the top now. But parts of that path down there were really steep. 
you know, really steep. It was right up in your face as you went up. So, and it would probably be the same where I came down on the other side if I had to walk back up that, which I don't really want to do. I haven't looked at the time. And I'm not going to look at it till I get to the... Let's do a bit of check in a minute. People might think, normally I use my stick to do this, I have my stick in front. Just in case it's one of those false widows. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Ah, look, ah, look. I step back. Look. There's one. See it? There's a spitter. Waiting for me, you little bastard. So what you have to do, see only just caught, he's got a golden body, could be a tick. Just go on there. There you go, he's running up there now, look. There he is. I don't know if it's a false widow, or just an ordinary spider or a tick. So it's best to, these are the sort of things, you, oh God, look at that. Look at that lovely bit of lichen, everyone. My God, isn't that beautiful? That could be old man's beard. That's beautiful, that. That's a sign of pure air, you know. Could be old man's beard, that. I used to know all that years, 40 years ago, when I had a memory. Right, hold on. I say sometimes you don't see the webs. So you, so the sun shines on them. So there's a spinner there, look. See? There's loads of them, look, look at that one there. I say, I don't know if they're false widows. It's a gauntlet. Tell the truth, it's a bloody gauntlet right, coming up here. Because of them. They're golden coloured. They might just be, if they're just ordinary spiders, I ain't bored, but these spiders fly in the wind, these false widows. See, there's one in there, he's all right. He's an ordinary spider, that one. Right, over and out, folks.